Hey, what's up guys? We're here streaming professional softball at the Crusher Stadium in Avon, Ohio, and I'm going to show you our live streaming setup. Nice running grab by Bianca Bell to get Robinson. Middle third. So today we're doing a four camera shoot, and three of them are actually in front of our press box. So this camera right here, this is like our close up, kind of follow the action shot. You know, basically I'm roaming around on it. If someone hits a home run, I go chase it. If uh, I want to zoom in on the pitcher when they're, you know, getting ready to throw, that's what this camera's for. I also have a monitor here so I can see the program output of what uh, our producer is switching to. This camera here is our general wide shot, or what I like to call kind of the safe shot. Anytime we don't really know where the ball is, we switch to this because it's going to capture everything on the field. Lastly, our third camera up here is going to be a close up shot of the pitcher and the batter. So our third camera only has mini HDMI out, so to get it back to our switcher, we're actually using a decimator bidirectional converter. It allows us to put HDMI into the decimator and then output SDI all the way to our switcher. Now I'm going to show you where our fourth camera is. Also, we had to run a 200 foot SDI cable all the way around the ground here to get to our next camera. We also ran a communications cable so we could talk to the camera operator over here. All right, so we decided to put our fourth camera kind of on the third baseline. This camera is really capturing close-ups of the batter, close-ups of the people running bases, the dugout shots, the crowd shots. It's really just meant to pick up all those kind of glamour shots you might not be able to get with those three cameras over there. Back at beautiful Springer Stadium as you take in the night sky here in Avon, Ohio. So every camera actually has its own intercom headset. Really all this is for is so they can talk to the director and the director can talk to them about when they're cutting to their shots. So all four of those cameras you just saw run into our Blackmagic ATEM switcher. And we have that going into a Blackmagic recorder that's right next to it. They pair together really, really well because they sit so nicely next to each other. We have this Blackmagic recorder so we can record a backup just in case anything happens to the live stream. From our Blackmagic ATEM, we actually do a program outfeed to this Blackmagic Ultra Studio mini recorder, which then goes Thunderbolt into a laptop, and then that goes into our graphics software. From our graphics program, we go Thunderbolt out into the Ultra Studio mini monitor, and then SDI out right into the Boxcaster Pro for live streaming. Here we have our multi-view monitor where our director can see all four of the angles that we've already described to you. And also, this computer is running Blackmagic's ATEM software for switching these angles. So we actually control the switcher with this software from my computer. End of this season, heading into the championship. This one is sliced out to center for a base hit. Pendley around second, trying to get to third. She's tagged out by Lily. So you might be wondering, what are we doing for audio? We actually have two announcers, one play-by-play -play and one color commentator. Uh, we're bringing their microphones in via XLR to our mixer, and then we're sending XLR out into our ATEM switcher. Um, we're also giving them this Pulsin amplifier so they can hear themselves talking, so it's a lot easier for them to uh, communicate. One other thing we added was a microphone by home base. So I'm gonna attach this shotgun mic right behind home plate, and it gets attached via XLR. The reason we're doing this is so we can pick up all that ambient noise in the stadium. We wanna hear the crowd noise, we wanna hear boos, we wanna hear cheers, we also wanna hear like the crack of the bat. The NPF. 2-2 is launched out to left center. Kwai Ning, out of room, it's a home run. All that stuff you wanna hear when you come to a baseball stadium. And of course, we can't forget we have the Boxcaster Pro doing all the streaming for us. This gives us the ability to stream to Facebook, YouTube, our website, the league's website, which they absolutely love. And it gives us high quality streaming at 1080p60, which is amazing for sports. So that's it. That's our live streaming setup. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. We look forward to hearing from you.